Oh, I thought you were going to ask me. No. No. You're oh. supposed to point out that it's an accident. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, look at this. What is it? This is an Aspen. How can you tell? You can tell it's an Aspen because of the way it is. <laughs> we found one. I found one. Are you going to get warts now, Josh? That's a myth. That's not true? What? We've been going pretty far. Yeah, I know. We're it's a pretty big forest. We're about a quarter of the way there. Don't worry about it. It's just woods. Josh, what are you doing? What? Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff. Pretty muddy. Oh, no way. No. Josh, what are those? Those are puff balls on a walk. What do they do? Watch this. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. This is a nice forest. This is a really nice forest. Getting serious. I'm gonna talk about the geology. So, north of here is that way, south of here is that way. This is called the Appalachian Plateau. When the glaciers around 10,000 years ago carved out this big valley. We're standing on Silurian rock, and if you see down here on those farm fields, there's these kind of rolling bumps, and those are called till piles. The glacier came in and out multiple times, and then it melted and dropped out. So that's why they're oriented east west, and they kind of roll up and out. That was like a little basin area. Later. What about that tree right there? Nope. No, that one. That's a very nice something. Does it start with an A? I don't know, I'm getting blinded. It's like either an oak or an aspen. Probably an oak. How do you know? Because the way it is. Huh. Jelly, 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 jelly fun guy. We were, we were walking along this trail here and I spotted this rock. These are called ripple marks in the rock. Ancient water. Wow, yeah. that is cool. And I just thought it was a rock. Time. Come on, grab your friends. We're going to very very distant land. land. With Devin the dog and Josh the Never, never, never It's better time. What's down here? Nothing. Is that a copyright for that? No, no, it's a cover. Snake! Where? Where right here, right here. Oh, it's a garter snake. Mm, cool. Watch out, my musk. It's what? What is musk? What does that mean? Oh, he wants the bite. Musky. What does musk mean? <laughs> oh, he's mad. Ooh. Now you are holding him. Is that the correct way to hold him? He's fine. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. What's down there? Nothing. I think. It's definitely I, not where we're going. I think something's down there. Are there rocks down there, Devin? Rocks? Swimming? Fun? I wasn't kidding. Right there. That's a fossils. Ship. I told you we'd find fossils. You did, you did. There's a few of them in here. It's called a brachiopod, and it was a little shell. Kind of just sat there in the ocean and waved around. This is shallow water rock. That, right, one, that one's different. What are we looking about at it? There. Okay, so the fossil looks like a tube. Oh, okay. It's called a crinoid stem because that is the actual stem of the plant and it latches into the sand and silt. It comes up and it just looks like a flower. And then the flower will catch nutrients as it sways. So what we were looking at was the stem part. It's really hard to find full crinoids. Look at that ginormous fracture. It's not a fall. But I'm so happy. You, you told me we'd find fossils and we found fossils. <laughs> a trip is much more memorable when you put yourself in danger and you have to overcome it. That is true. Yeah. Like the white face strip that you did. Yeah. That was insane. You couldn't see anything. <laughs> we couldn't see 30 feet ahead of us. It is. It was a good trip. One of the best trips we've ever had.
because it was really hard at the top. We had to go through like four feet of three feet of snow. We could just keep pushing through it, and it was the adrenaline rush, and we just kept going. Did you see the trail? No, nope. there was no trail. I just said, Jay, as long as we keep going up, we'll hit the summit. <laughs> so we did. <laughs> you couldn't even see anything at the top, though, right? No. Nope. But it's still good. <laughs> Nice though. Ready? Salamander. <laughs> Whoa. Trying to escape. Is it okay to touch them or do you need to wet your hands? You need to wet your hands. Oh. Right back. Cool. Josh, wait. Tell me a little about the significance of those salamanders. Oh, you want the significance, huh? Not only are they just fun to find, they're a good indicator for the environment and how healthy it is. So if you find a bunch of salamanders around the area, that means that your system is pretty healthy. So like, if you find salamanders in the water, they're really sensitive. So that means anything that's wrong with the water, like, what? like any pollution, any acids that get in there, any other bad chemicals, that will hurt them. And then they won't be able to live in there. So if you find salamanders in the stream and around the stream, that means the water is pretty good and the habitat is really clean. Okay, what's the next step, Trail Master? Going back. Going back? We gotta do the whole thing in reverse? The entire thing. That's right. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, look at this. It's getting steering. Thanks, Boogin is back! back. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Woodpecker, Girl. owl pellet, and...